I've been going to the Tetons mostly in the summers because it's alpine bouldering and it's cooler temps up there for bouldering in the summer. I was psyched I was able to go back to the Tetons, uh, this time with a pretty fun crew from Salt Lake. Turn left onto Idaho 31 East, Pine Creek Road. Alright. We're a little bit close. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wildlife. So after Danny and I left Wilson getting groceries and stuff, we hiked up, it took us like an hour. Um, not too bad, like I think we could have done it faster years prior when we were more fit, but we managed. Um, we were psyched, we threw the pads down, we just ran around to all the little sectors that we had previously developed to relook at uh, projects and lines that we put up years prior. And uh, yeah, we started like just trying to do new um, warm-ups every day so we just like try to climb a new boulder problem that we haven't climbed or cleaned. We're psyched to be partnering up with 27 Crags. They're helping us put together a topo and um, it's a pretty sweet platform. It has really good like GPS coordinates of boulders and maps and topos and like where the lines go on each boulder. And throughout this vlog I'll be popping in these little screenshots from 27 Crags of the boulders that um, we put up. It's funny, this boulder that Adam put up, um, it's like the closest boulder to the trail. And we just like, I don't know why we never stopped and looked at it or stopped and cleaned it, but Adam was psyched one day and he cleaned this gem up. On our rest day, we checked out the rodeo in Jackson, because it's just what you do when you're in Wyoming. You go to the rodeo, and you go bouldering at the two tones. Drinking a beer at a rodeo in Jackson. Come on, 
Get tall, dude. Come on. Ah! See, Taylor McNeil came up with us. He's a strong dude uh, from the south. He's been living in Salt Lake and uh, he was psyched to come up. Yeah, the river was high. It was a high river this year. High river. Lots of snow, lots of snow melt equals high river. Put up a nice line called Pucker Up. Uh, kind of climbs out of a cave, but just the rock is so good that you don't care really that you're climbing out of a little hole. It's nice to have uh, different people with different visions and psych to come up to the Tetons and help uh, establish and just kind of use their own motivation. This is the end of vlog 95. Um, wow, five more until we are at 100 <laughs> vlogs. That's kind of crazy. Um, let's see, Charlotte has been in Makatea. Nice boots, Danny. And I'm going to be doing some of the uh, lead World Cups with the US team. What are you doing? Me? Yeah. Are you filming me? <laughs> yeah, uh, dude. <laughs> uh, and hopefully climbing outside together with the team and with Charlotte, because she'll join us a little bit on the road for the World Cups. Oh, and I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes look at my tripod situation. Uh, I'm going to let you guess what country I'm in. Yeah, that's right. It's a pretzel tripod. All right. Peace, everyone.